You've been thinking about learning Russian for quite some time. You weren't sure about it, but you finally committed to learning it. Let's get you started with some alphabet. Starting with letters that look and sound exactly like English letters. A is the first letter. A. Think of car. The A sound in car, that's exactly what A is gonna sound like. Next is K. K. Again, car. The very first sound of car is what this letter will sound like. K. And just with two letters, you can now say kak, which means how. Kak. Next letter is letter M. M. Like in English, we have a word mom. The first sound is M. And in fact, you can now say the word for mom in Russian, which is mama. Mama. Скажи слово mama. Mama. Спасибо. <laughs> Next letter is O. O. Like in orange. And just like that, new word you've unlocked is coma. Coma. And it means coma. What a weird example. Then we have the. Think of English table, the first t, t sound, but we say it a bit duller. Not t, but t. As if it was not table, but table. Sound is t. Now these next letters, you already know their sound, but they will look different. Starting with the letter B, it sounds like B, like a word best. The very first sound in best is B. And look, I think now you can read this word right here. Tabak, tabak, which means tobacco. Next is this letter. Hold on, isn't this a letter B in English? You're right, but in Russian we read it as V, V. Think of a stove in English, the very last sound, V, stove. V is how we pronounce it. Next five letters are G, garage. The first G in the garage, that's the letter G. Then we have N, like nostril, N. Then it is Z, zipper. The first Z in zipper, Z. E, like T, the E sound in T. That's what this letter will sound like. E, letter Y, like in yogurt, Y, Y, yogurt. Congrats, now you can say your very first adjective, which is Donkey. Donkey means thin. In fact, you can say takoi, which means which. You can also say moi, which means my. That's great progress. Let's keep going. Next letter is letter D. Right here. D. Now this one is freaking weird. It looks like a darn house. It has a roof, it has the walls, even has a foundation. In the Russian, the word for house is dom. Now you can say this. Moi dom. My house. Moi dom. Six more letters are L, like in lab, the L, lab sound. P like pink, p, p, pink, s, like sky, s, s, sky, f, like in family, f, f, family, h, like high, the first h, high, and e, like in chef, e, so. Another new full word for you is spasiba. Spasiba means thank you. Спасибо. We're more than halfway through Russian alphabet. Now these next letters, we need to combine English sounds to make up Russian letters. Just combine ye and e to get ye. Like in the word ye in English, we have the first two letters that will make the sound ye. Take ye and o to make your sound like an English word your, but without the very last r there, yo. Add another o into it, it will make up you. Like you, it's pronounced the same exact way. You. Ye and a will make up ya, which in fact is the most common word in Russian, and it means I. Ya. You can also combine t and s to make up t sound, like an English word fits. That t fits at the end will make up the sound. Not our Russian letters are that simple. We have z, ch, sh, and sh to add that complexity. Z, ch, sh, sh, z, ch, sh, sh. Sound very similar. Let's break them down. Z sounds like z in genre. The first sound z is here. Then we have ch, like chimney, ch, chimney. Then we have sh, like in shrimp, shrimp, that little dull sh, sh sound. And finally, sh is like shoes, shoes, sh. Shoes. And now we get to the sounds that don't exist in English. Starting with R. R. We have to roll our R's in Russian. R. Just touch your top palate with your tongue when you breathe out. R. 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 After some practice, you'll get it. Next sound is U. U. Only sounds simple. U. Try and say it. Is it hard to pronounce? Pop, скажи, как правильно говорить букву U. U. Еще раз. Буква U. <laughs> Hope might that helped you just a little bit, but the easiest way to get it is to just say E for a long time. 
E and then move your tongue back. E E, e, e. Only move it back slightly and you should get this e sound. Then we got these two. They sound like nothing. They don't have a sound. This one soft sign is used to make a previous letter sound softer. And this hard sign is used to make a previous letter sound harder. As a beginner, don't worry about it whatsoever. In due time, you will learn it and master it. All you do have to worry about is learning new words, which you can do with this next video.